beauties, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today, and today is Foundation Friday. Now before I get into the foundation that I'll be reviewing today, let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Yes, my hair is in braids for the very first time, my curls are currently MIA, but if this is new information for you, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Snapchat because this is old news, boo-boo. This is old news. Let's go ahead and handle that right now. My Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat is at Ms. Bianca Renee. Go ahead and follow me so you're always the first to know what I'm going to be reviewing next, what I'm looking like, what products I like, where I'm going. It's just a very entertaining place to be. But don't worry, I will be doing a full video on these braids, on how to maintain them, hairstyles, all that jazz this Sunday, because I post new hair videos every Sunday. So hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as it goes live. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Foundation Friday. Today I'll be reviewing the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear 24 Hour Foundation. Everybody has been hyping up this foundation. I am definitely late to the game. Lancome sent me this foundation to review and they didn't even ask me what color I am. They didn't send me multiple options. They were just like, hey, this is your color. And they were actually right. I'm very impressed. I'm currently wearing the color 430 Bisque C. The C stands for cool undertones. It's also W for warm and N for neutral. And they have 40, get this, 40 different shades to choose from. And I absolutely love that. I am 430 and there's 13 different shades darker than my skin tone, which is really great. As you guys see from my other foundation reviews, usually I'm like the darkest color, which is ridiculous. And or there's maybe two shades darker than me. So the fact that there's multiple colors past me like there should be, I'm very happy about. Not only is this foundation supposed to last for 24 hours, which is a very huge claim, it also has SPF 15, it's oil free, and it's supposed to be transfer resistant. And according to the website, it says that it contains perlite and silica to ensure that excessive oils are absorbed, leaving behind a shine free velvety matte complexion. That's exactly what I look for in a foundation. I have very oily skin, so I really want my foundations to keep me matte, absorb the oils, and last all day long. The Lancome Ultra Wear Foundation is $47, so it's more of a high-end foundation, available at Macy's, Nordstrom's, Neiman Marcus, Sephora, Ulta, or the Lancome website. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear 24-hour foundation to my face. Starting off on a clean face, I'm gonna be using the Lancome Benefit Aqua Vital. I hope I said that right. I mean, I did take three years of French, but you know, that was a long time ago. Uh, this is their Diffusion Continue Dehydration Continuous Infusing Moisturizer. Now for my primer lately, I've been using this primer by Kula. This is their Daydream Mineral Primer and has SPF 30, so this has been great for the summer. Now it's time to apply the foundation. It does have a little pump, which is what I prefer. And I'm going to pump it right onto my beauty blender. Let's see how this color goes. They sent this to me before I went on my vacation and did get a little more tan. Fingers crossed. Oh, that actually works nicely. Phew, I was so worried that my tan was gonna mess this up, but. They actually did a very good job by guessing my foundation shade. So you do get some nice coverage. It's not extremely full coverage, so my guess would be that it's very buildable. It's not too, mm, it's not like a thick cream either, but it's not too liquidy. It's a nice happy medium. how I look with just the foundation all on its own. I'm very happy with the color. I think it matches my skin perfectly. It feels very lightweight. I'm getting some good coverage. It's not feeling cakey or heavy. I like it so far. But now I'm gonna finish the rest of my face. And we're back. So here we are. I really like the finished result. I am extremely 
matte right now. Like this is great. I don't want to start off with any shine or dewiness, especially if you're someone that has oily skin. So this is this is looking real promising right now, but it is currently 1 p.m. So I'm gonna come back at the end of the day and show you exactly how well this foundation holds up throughout the day on my oily skin. And I'm back, it is now 10 p.m. So I've had this foundation for a total of nine hours. Not even close to the 24 mark, but I mean nine is a pretty long full work day. So we kind of see what we're working with here. So here we are, this is how shiny matte I am. So let's get a closer look here, shall we? Hmm. I think it held up pretty nicely. I feel like other foundations have definitely made me more shiny, so I do think it's kind of keeping me a little bit more mattified than I'm used to. But at this point, I usually always use an oil absorbing sheet, but get this, I actually ran out. I just looked through every single purse that I own and I cannot find one blotting sheet. I didn't know running out was even possible, but the only thing I could find is this Blotterazzi, which is by Beauty Blender, so it's actually like Beauty Blender material but it's like a reusable little cushion. So I'm gonna use this to blot my face today. So take one last look. This is how I look after nine hours of wear. And now I'm going to blot my skin with the Blotterazzi. And this should only pick up the oils and leave the makeup. This makeup does claim to be transfer proof. So let's see about that. All right, so I don't know if you can really tell. There is a little bit of brown on here, so I don't know if it's completely transfer proof. I mean, granted, I am pushing it on there. It could be my concealer or my powder, but now I think it looks very, very good. So overall, I am very happy with the Lancome Taint Idole Ultra Wear Foundation. I think it did a really good job for nine hours, and I did go outside today where it was like 90 degrees, and I was sweating, like it was really, really hot. So for me to be out in very hot weather during the summer, it has SPF, and I look like this after nine hours, I'm with it. But I wanna know what you think of this final look of the foundation. Do you think it looks nice? Do you think it looks worn out after nine hours? Have you tried this foundation before? Leave me a comment and let me know how well it worked for you and your skin type. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, foundation reviews on Fridays and hair videos on Sunday. And if you wanna know about these braids, that is the next video coming soon. If you wanna take our friendship to the next level, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Mm.